All right, guys, let's get into NFT gaming and some of the updates that we've been tracking here. Of course, this is going to be a fun one because I think this will have a lot of stuff that maybe you haven't seen on, I know you haven't seen it on our channel. We're just starting to break it out a little bit more. My name is Paul Barron. Welcome back to Tech Path. Today, we're going to look at where NFT gaming is going. And there's, there's a few pieces of the puzzle that at least I put together before I really understand whether or not I want to get into one of these projects. The first piece of the puzzle is I'm looking at the overall project itself. Most of the time, it's very difficult to trace these gaming companies down to even understand who the team is in, in many cases. Furthermore, you have to look at where is their funding coming from. And this gets into the support ecosystem of how a game project starts. Now, once it gets past that, then you end up with something like an Axion, you know, then it's, it's off to the races, no pun intended, for how Axie might be hitting. But I want to jump into a couple of these first, and that is a project called D-Race. And D-Race essentially is a gambling uh, NFT game that's going to be used using, uh, just like horse racing, digital NFT horses that you'll be able to own and race within the game. So some interesting things here is the fact that uh, famous footballer Michael Owen is now jumped in uh, for joining and getting into where D-Race is going overall. When you look at critics of non-fungible tokens, because this is a big deal of what people are talking about, is that these digital assets are basically being, they're invaluable JPEGs without any specific use case. This is where D-Race starts to get in and kind of separate itself in terms of what its capability is as a gambling platform. And I think that's going to be a big differentiator for where D-Race is going. Whether you agree or disagree, if you're an avid collector, same factoring true, the functional and engaging platform of NFT will be revolutionized once we see real world industries surrounding them being the gambling side of that. So that is where I think we're going to see uh, projects like D-Race. And if you have been following D-Race on any of the charts, you probably know where this one is going. And there are many um, investment strategies also within many of these games and this is one that I think whether you follow guys like Emilio Trades or Emilio Trades or uh, Becker, uh, ZSS Becker on Twitter, which is w really where he puts the most of his great stuff on where some of these gaming projects are going. Those two guys are probably, I would say, somewhat of the experts in the industries, at least that I've found. But what's interesting is they both have a very similar analysis on how to invest in these things. So remember, when you get into projects very early on, whether you were in Cardano early or maybe you were in Polygon, these, you know, these big gigantor tokens, if you win very early, sure, you've 10x, maybe 100x into uh, where you are now in your current position. The gaming scenario, in, in many cases, like a lot of these IDOs, when they just get initial offerings out, much like a if you're in the, let's just say, angel investor crowd or you're in the business investing crowd and you're investing in developers that are moving projects like that, in the early days, that's where you're going to get the most bang for your buck in terms of equity or percentage. In this particular case, much like with uh, NFT gaming, much like with startups, is you're going to get that initial bump, you're probably going to get smashed or wrecked, and then it's going to fall and be looking for an entry point after that. So you either have to know really what you're doing in the initial phase or wait for that pump to happen, pick it up on the backside and look for an opportunity for that game to start moving. Because typically it's not something that's going to have gameplay or be a functional project before you can actually jump in and enter into it. So that's something to be aware of in uh, looking that. And when you look at this one right here, this is kind of an interesting thing with, with D-Race. Finance's NFT's very first IGO is by D-Race. Uh, and it launched today, literally today. D-Race is a complete NFT horse racing ecosystem where players are able to participate in horse races, breed NFT horses with unique char characteristics like Axie, host races in their very own NFT um, hippodrome, and then earn profits during the process. So Again, another play to earn process and also a potential here for gambling. D-Race Drop featured 10 types of NFT with five regular horses and five Binance chain horses or uh, Binassian horses. Uh, the, the NFTs are also on sale on uh, exchangeable and are for a D-Race NFT horse play to earn asset that players are able to use in the game. So lots of fact, uh, lots of growth here, I think, for a company. Now, this is what I'm talking about with somewhere where D-Race is. They had the initial pop. 
where the project was really getting off the ground, it took its dive, and then you have this gain opportunity. And now they're starting to make real plays into the next level of where this particular project is going. So it's going to be interesting. Back to this story, new users have, have to register on Binance to create or trade on Binance NFT platform. And then Binance NFT also added multi-chain support for NFT deposits and withdrawals. So I think that's really cool because it's going to give you the ability to really kind of get into that both with Smart Chain and Ethereum. Which you guys are probably, if you're watching our show, maybe you've already played with MetaMask and started to use Ethereum uh, in whether it's in the Solana ecosystem or maybe you're doing something on Binance Smart Chain with PancakeSwap, those kind of things. And if we're talking, you know, weird terms to you right now, then this is probably what you need to do. You need to really start doing a lot of research around, if you're into NFT gaming, get into understanding those ecosystems. You can't really follow the developers as well. So what I do, and this is something I would recommend that you guys do, is follow the money. And that usually identifies whether or not a project is going to make it off the ground. Because if somebody's going to get behind it, that's big money or has a lot of capability, then there's a great big project opportunity there. Before we get into the, we're not doing any data on these today, but we are gonna be revealing some kind of pieces in the puzzle uh, of how you would try to put these together. So that's one. Let's get into another one that I think you're gonna uh, be interested in. This one is a project called MetaWars. Now MetaWars uh, basically did a raise with a reputable supporter. This is where you start to get into people who are real money, and you can kind of see just some of the uh, the big sponsors here. Mr. Beast is on there, I think, more so as an as a influencer than an investor because his actual percentage of investment was rather low in comparison to, say, someone like, um, you know, X21 or Raptor Capital, uh, which is a long-term big player in this space. One, of course, who has invested in Axie Infinity, and also some others. So there's a lot of similarities that are happening in this space, and I'll show you why in a second. So this was a press release. This was not a news story, but a press release. MetaWars, innovative multiplayer, blockchain-based game, CESFX. This is only a $2.3 million raise, uh, which to me is still meaning that this project is super early. This is like the startups of startups in Silicon Valley that don't have an MVP yet. A, uh, basically a minimum viable product that's got to be able to go to market where people can utilize it, which is really gameplay in this particular case. But when you look back at this, uh, as mentioned, MetaWars, as mentioned, will be hosting their TGE on the 27th of October in collaboration with three launch pads, Poly Launcher, Red Kite, and Game 5. Basically, their utility war, uh, token Wars has also a total supply of, one. what is that, $1.5 billion and is required to do an in uh game token, which is game. From what we can understand, this is like smooth love potion inside of what's happening over at Axie. It's what you earn in the game. But of course, you can go in and start staking this right now, and I'll show you a little bit about that. Uh, additionally, on the investor partners, which is really where it gets interesting in a lot of these projects of where this is going, they successfully got the raise in. But here's the list. ABV, Raptor Capital, big one, Cinchblock, X21, Double Peak, Mangus, Everse, Infinity, and so on. Notice that they didn't mention Mr. Beast here. Interesting one. Even though they mentioned him right down here. So being supported by, which I'm wondering if that is, is investing or just promoting. And that's another thing because promotion can really start to wreck you as well. If you have somebody that's going out there and promoting a project, that's just, this is where it gets really sketchy in the sense of following a lot of these games because there's been already problems out there in the influencer crowd in cryptocurrency where we get heavy promotion and we end up with you know somebody doing a rub pull or things like that. So I don't necessarily think that's going to be the case in a lot of these game projects if they're getting major investment in there and these guys are. So that's one thing to look about and look around as you go into this. This was the Meta Wars tweet. Basic says... Get your new weapons, fire away pilots. The DAP is now live and fully optimizable uh, for wars. And this is, of course, where you can go in and start staking. So that's a cool element. I, and I like what they are trying to do. If you haven't followed this, just get in there right there. You can kind of see 80,000 followers, a little light for a project like this, I would think, unless they are just really getting 
going, and I think that might be the case. So just to jump over here to Raptor, because Raptor is the comp one of the major companies that's behind this project, and this one is interesting to me when you look at their portfolio. And let me kind of just jump around here to the portfolio real quick. Um, lots of typical tech companies that you might recognize, but I'm always looking to see, do they really understand what's happening in these ecosystems, or are they just looking for kind of the next big thing? And these, of course, have guys have been into Axie and also into BlockFi. So this is where I think one of the big, well, several of the big investors are starting to wade into these waters in the gaming space, especially what's coming out of Asia. And I think this is going to be a very good sign for many of these types of projects. So again, watching them early, watching that money as it flows in, taking a look at what happens on the backside in terms of the development crew, developers that help get this off the ground and how it does in the ecosystems in terms of growing value. So big stuff there. Uh, I want to jump over here quickly to Core Market Cap. Just I uh, was showing quickly a um, play to earn, which you can, guys can go in and just click this tab to really kind of learn a little bit here. Remember though, Coin Market Cap doesn't necessarily get a lot of these early, early guys, but it is going to give you at least the bigger projects that you can track. So Axie Infinity, that's something I'm invested in. If you have not done um, your research on Axie Infinity, I would highly suggest take a look at that game. It is the one active uh, play to earn that is growing like crazy. I think this one is highly under, undervalued right now, even though it is still a ridiculous market cap right there. But the point is, I feel like Axie's got a lot of, of uh, potential runway in front of them because the, the one, it's a great, you know, it is, I know, I, I know, and I listen to Alex Becker a lot about Axie and he looks at it kind of as a kindergarten game, but I look at it in the early days of the internet gaming sphere. And if you look back in the entry games, before we got any of the great 3D graphic games, we had Pong. And before that, we had basic Tron or any of those kind of arcade style games. And I feel like that's where we are in what we're seeing in this space right now in blockchain gaming. So, you know, keep that in mind because we're going to see a massive run up on this in a very short time. And I think we are going to see some unbelievable wins in these projects in terms of how they're going to run up. So just you just have to be aware. If you had been in Axie six, eight months ago, you can imagine where this thing has gone. Let me just jump to that chart real quick just to give you an example of this guy running at its full year. So you can kind of see here Axie running at $8.98, and now we're at $131. So definitely, a, what is that, a 15, almost 20x. So that's the kind of growth that some of these projects, and that was still a project that was in uh, where availability and people understood what was happening around May. Look back here when it literally start at, you know, basically 61 cents. So you're talking about total volume of 7 million versus what we're seeing up here now of 854 million in that total volume on daily trade. So it's a big opportunity here. What that tells me, and Axie has kind of been the one that has paved the way for a lot of this. So Another one that I want to take a look at is a project called Demol. Now, before we get into Demol too much, I want to jump over here quickly on just their website. Uh, this is a very early game. Uh, they are doing, of course, it's a lot of these kind of battle games that you can see. And let me kind of zoom out of this guy right here. You can kind of see what this um, particular creature is. But, you, you know, the scenario behind these is, again, who is behind these kinds of teams and how will this kind of project get off the ground? This is another one of those that really will, of course, be a play to earn and kind of move in that direction. This is their staking platform right here. Kind of cool in the sense of just their graphics are well done. Uh, you can obviously get in and connect your uh, wallet, your MetaMask wallet right now and start your staking if you do own um, any of Demol in terms of how it's going. But I like this interesting thing right here of where if you do stake, you're going to get an opportunity to get a rare one of these NFT, in this case, a monster. These are beautiful dragon <laughs> right there. So I love it. Anyway, so when you look at these kind of projects like this, it goes back to the same thing, which is who is the players behind it? So right here is Demol Partners with several global crypto companies and is expected to be the best play to earn NFT game in 2021. Uh, you know, okay, that happened in October. That's a, that's a short timeline. 
Uh, so maybe they're thinking 2022 here instead. So it's a revolutionary uh, 3D RPG that has been built on the NFT uh, ecosystem with an extensive gameplay and mechanics, both in PvP and PvE modes of play, which is kind of this whole idea around uh, idle gameplay, which is going to be fun to, to see how that goes. But if you look at some of the companies, X21 Digital is in this, AC Capital in this. This is an investment firm that specializes in blockchain uh, financing. So that tells me that these guys are serious and they've looked at enough into this team. And then look who there, who's, who showed up to the party again, Raptor comes back in. So this one is very interesting because this is Jim Pelota. And remember Jim Pelota, I don't know if I showed you that, but let me jump over here to the team on Raptor. Let's take a look at about. And when you look at the team that kind of comes in behind this, Jim Pelota is the managing partner of Raptor Group. And be before he got into Raptor, he's managed 10 billion in equities uh, portfolios. So he understands how to move money. He understands how these kind of things can accelerate quickly. And then also he's been involved in the Boston Celtics. So he's understanding in sport play. He understands how that works. And best of all, ecosystems and fan bases. And when, he, when you are an investor and you can understand where these kind of things are rolling, with fan bases, ecosystems, these kinds of things in terms of deep money, uh, in terms of investment structure, these are the right kind of investors for these projects. And when you have the right investors matched with the right project, magic happens. We've seen it so many times in Silicon Valley. And this is kind of the new Silicon Beach of crypto and in blockchain. It's, we're seeing that kind of movement. And I think that's the thing you guys are going to have to watch. All right, last up is just quickly a rundown on basically the Bitcoin of blockchain play to earn, and that's Axie Infinity. And if you look at where Axie Infinity is, market cap today, 7 billion right there, running on circulated supply right there. And of course, 24 hour trading volume at 370 million, awesome movement right there. Initial token price, remember that 14 cents guys, remember that 14 cents now trading on its high low at $129. So you can kind of see the actual opportunity here that can happen when you catch these things way early in the game, no pun intended. So that's something to be aware of. Here's something else that we do by watching token metrics is, and I like is, is the fact that you can go in and look at their daily uh, token metric grade, which they're looking at both TA. Now, when you get to a project that's as um, mature as Axie, there's a lot of data out there and there, we're starting to get a lot more in terms of ecosystem gameplay as well as sentiment, because we've done many uh, Axie, and we should probably talk to, I'd love to know if you guys want us to do another Axie video on the update for sentiment and where that might be trending, because we, last time we did Axie, we missed it really low. We had it going up, we just didn't have it going vertical to the level that it was, and of course it took off. But you look at the monthly grade, the weekly grade, this is holding really well in the sense it's staying consistent. So we haven't seen volatile use here like what you'd see in some of the meme projects. And again, this is another thing when I'm investing in projects that I look for is consistency in some of these tokenomics or in the technical analysis or quantitative analysis if it's consistent unless we're seeing big breaks that's happened based on huge news. So. These are just some of the projects to be on the watch for. I would recommend one site out there, and that one is going to be uh, playtoearn.net. This is a place basically where you can kind of track some of these projects. We're in the Binance Smart Chain right here, but you can kind of jump around here in Polygon, obviously Ethereum. It'll repopulate that right there and give you guys kind of the uh, example there, obviously with Axie leading the, leading the way. But it does give you a lot more data than what you might find, say, on maybe a coin market cap or somewhere like that, if you're really wanting to get into gaming and NFT uh, gaming as a general uh, investment class for what your portfolio might hold. So be thinking about it. If you guys are really into it, hit me in the comments below because this is where we're going to learn on projects that maybe you're following. Remember, there's not that many, even though I know there's a lot of projects, they sound like there's a lot of projects, but when you get a chance to really drill down into these, there's only a handful of them that are breaking out in the sense of either one, they've got their team put together, their arts put together, and kind of they have their mission of how they're going to structure the game. 
And then the next layer is get the money. So that's when these major investors come in uh, and VCs, because the VCs are going to be the ones who play in this uh, market the most. Interesting to watch, but I would definitely check out uh, playtoearn.net because that's going to be one that you can do. Make sure and join the Diamond Circle because this is where we're going to be giving away, maybe in the future, maybe some IDOs for NFT gaming projects, or obviously we're going to be giving away some other digital assets, and we do that every so often the next big one is coming on November 2nd. You want to make sure and be here on that live stream. It's next Tuesday. This is my birthday. We're going to do one on my birthday. We're going to give away some money. Anyway, join. It's free. It's pretty easy to do. Just follow the link in the description. If you guys have any other to tokens or projects that you really like us to drill into, just drop them in the comments below. If you hit me up on Twitter, at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechPath.